Okay, terrific. Let's see if we can just get somebody on the line here. Hi, you, welcome to the Truth and I Talk Radio. Uh, I'm Roxy Lopez, and our guest today is Rosalind Peterson. Do you have a question? Hey, yes. Uh, this is Rob Forget with Kim Trail Jew and Jenny Lawsuit, and Al DeChico. We just had some questions. Mm-hmm. Sure. Al? Yeah, I, I have a question. Uh, the big question is why isn't Michael Murphy, Roxy Lopez, Rosalind Peterson? in on the lawsuit that we're working on with Attorney Joe Marmon. I'd be happy to answer that. Um, We sincerely want to know. We we really could use your help. Okay. Um, I have no problem answering that question. Um, One of the things that I find is that we have to stick with what we can prove. We have to stay away from opinions and beliefs. And if we go to sue someone, we have to have enough rock-solid evidence that is so tight to make a case so that we don't lose the case, and that we have uh, many, many people, in other words, experts in various fields, to testify on our behalf. This means university professors. This means people that can come and back up our statements, back up the studies where we can prove that there's that the jets, for example, reduce the amount of direct sunlight reaching the earth. They change we, the climate. If we've done this, and so yeah. what if we've happens done this. is Excuse that me, when I see though, answering the that question. we are talking about okay. suing who. In other words, uh, I, I, I find that the direct proof to link up who's doing what, and also I can tell you that in 10 years of research, um, other than aluminum-coated fiberglass, chaff releases by the U.S. military, I have no proof whatsoever that the jets are releasing anything but jet fuel emissions. Now, I can prove that the rocket programs in the United States are releasing trimethyl aluminum, aluminum oxide, barium. I can prove the rocket programs in the United States are just coating us with toxic chemicals all the time. And these programs are listed at uh, NASA, NOAA. Uh, the U.S. Air Force, the U.S. Navy. I mean, these, there's, there's tests going on all the time. The U.S. Navy CARE program is a prime example. So I can prove, I have so many documents, I couldn't even put them all on the Internet, even if I tried, because there's Pentagon reports. There's all kinds of reports dating back 20, 30 years. When it comes to proving what the jets are releasing, I don't have the documentation and I don't have a single study. I don't have a single solitary verifiable evidence that the jets are releasing anything except military releases of aluminum coated um, fiberglass by um, military aircraft. So there's Our legal a team has that information for now. Me in putting oh, my name okay. or associating myself with something where I can't back it up. Now, if anybody has direct proof, they've got university studies, if you've got documents, government documents, if you've got reports, then that makes a big difference. But right now, after 10 years of research, I can't do it. Our legal team has that information and has even submitted letters of demand uh, information to uh, all the uh, entities that you noted and the DOD. Yes, but you put them up to the, the letters of demand carry the word chemtrail. The word chemtrail has no definition in U.S. Mer- military lexicon that I could find other than uh, what is written as opinions and beliefs, but that they report that the word chemtrail is defined as an Internet hoax, a conspiracy theory, or a hoax. To yeah, they've co- um, they've get the military to come out stuff. and actually oh. define that word other than a hoax has not been possible, and no one has succeeded so far. So when you put a demand letter about chemtrails, they're just going to come oh. back and tell you that it's a hoax. And I'm well, afraid that um, this, is, this is going to be problematic. In addition to that, 
Uh, the reason that I'm not going to personally go into any lawsuit at this time is that I have sued the state of California and the county of Contra Costa in a huge lawsuit uh, several years ago about putting 2,4-D dichlorophenoxyacetic acid in the source of our drinking water that impacts 300,000 residents in Contra Costa County, California. The wow. thought about going through four years and um, realizing that we filed too late, the program was already a program, by the time that I knew about it and read about it in the newspaper, meant that we didn't lose on the merits of the case. We lost the case merely uh, because we filed too late. Rosalind, we're going to a break. Everybody hold on. Uh, caller, if you want to stay on the line, I'll just mute you through the break and we'll bring you back on. Uh, where you're listening to The Truth Tonight Talk Radio, I'm Roxy Lopez. Our guest today is Rosalind Peterson. We continue with the activism and what all of all of the public can do to change outcomes and ways that have worked. Rosalind, um, you were just uh, talking about, um, you know, the effective ways. And um, I, as promised, um, I'll uh, let the caller back onto the air um, if you needed to ask any more questions or, Rosalind, if you needed to finish your statement. I have, I, I have a question. Really quickly, I have a question okay. because I don't think we need an endless answer. It sounds like excuses to me. We must do something right now. People are dying. Why is there no sense of urgency to sue and expose these people? We could talk about this and make movies till we're all dead. If you had your blood work done. Our legal team has evidence, and since we last spoke, Roxy, and we have addressed not only chemtrails, but any form of aerial spraying, disbursements, geoengineering. All the terms have been laid out in the demand. Okay. That's yeah. right. We're, 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 we're action. We need right. action. We need action. Really, Roxy, this, this is about all of us on the globe. And I keep hearing excuses why we can't win in court. We have three options. Negotiate. That's not going to happen. Military force, they're doing it to us, and you know it. Correct. And there's lawsuits. We can sit here and talk to a politician until we're blue in the face for the next few years and say, oh, yeah, they're going to promise to investigate all this when they get elected. That's going to happen? Do you really believe that? Right. And, we and, have documentation of just, just for the Sorry. record, gentlemen, um, Rosalind was just about to say what happened with the lawsuit that she oh. did uh, try, to, try to put forward. And oh, it, I, I've heard this already. Clear. It's another Hello. excuse. Hello. We need to move forward. If you keep interrupting. We need to move this forward. Is, this isn't that kind of show. So if no. we can all have respect, I have the floor for a moment. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Right? So what I'm saying is that there are a number of efforts, and she's just one of many. And so Blood are work. you. So there's no dissing on this show. We're listening. I'm listening. Um, Rosalind, it. go ahead and finish your statement of what you encountered. Well, what I can say is that what I encountered with the lawsuit that I initiated is that since we had filed too late, the uh, cost of paying for all of these uh, lawyers on the other side, 11 of them, court costs, all the fees, four years it took. And this was no slow process. A lawsuit can, can go for four years, five years, six years, and it can take a long time to get through the courts. It's not like you go to court and instantaneously something happens. There's filing on both sides, and the process can be enormously time-consuming. My idea behind all this, though, and where I think we could make a big difference, is that we have to elect people at the local level. In other words, this is an election year. We have to elect people that are going to support what we want, change that we want. We have to get... Um, for example, with the Navy, our County Board of Supervisors um, opposed the Navy options here in Mendocino County, Marin County, a whole host of counties, because we took the facts to them, we brought it forward to them, we educated them, and they decided to go against the Navy position. This is powerful um, in Oregon. This happened in Oregon as well. Our congressman stood up for us because we told him we wouldn't re-elect him unless he stood up for us. And by golly, he did. 
And I'm really proud of all of the efforts that he went through to do this. And Roger, so the point when that we you're talk about, clear, you know, because, you know a lawsuit about chemtrails on, on, and different things, well, you've got to be prepared that this is going to take a long process and that you might not win. And so, correct. therefore, I think having elected officials in office who are going to make a difference, put forth resolutions. Um, and one last thing. We didn't like GMOs in Mendocino County, so what did we do? We got the Board of Supervisors' support, and we put this on the ballot, and we voted out GMOs coming into our county in Mendocino County in 2004. The people, out, out, even though we were out sent, spent by Monsanto and the GMO companies and everyone, we beat them. And you see, the thing is, we beat them because we were well-educated in the subject, and we got it stopped here. So I think at the local level, when you start to change things in an election year, you start to take action locally and educate people, you're going to have a viable force that's going to move out to other states, other counties, elsewhere. And I think that that's powerful, and it can be done relatively quickly uh, rather than over years and years of court uh, filings Correct. and Correct. delays. And, and, and Roslyn, um, th you know, and I'll let you guys come back on. You're, you're muted right now. We have callers behind you, so I'm giving you the, the time and the opportunity on the show. So all I can ask you before I let you back on the air uh, uh, to just have some respect. Um, Al made a point, you know, we've got to do this, we've got to do this now. And you're making a point, that, uh, Rosalyn, that it, this is an expedient, this is much quicker way, especially in an election year, and we've got, what, 110, 109 days left. So we've got the, the, the we, could, we can create that pressure and get something done within the next 100 uh, days or even less. Um, and, and what I'd like to answer to Al and, and Rob is that as well, um, everyone's doing what everyone can do. So your way is the way you're doing it. My way is the way I'm doing it. And um, how dare you, I will say this, how dare you, because I work at this seven days a week around the clock. You don't know what I'm doing. You don't know who I'm talking to. And when I let you back on the air, I want to tell you something. You know very well why I'm not in the lawsuit. And that is between me and attorney Joe Marmon, who I called and spoke with. So if I decide to keep that, that to myself, that is my business. So I'll let you back on the air. If you start attacking, I'm going to have to drop the call. I think I've been very fair on this show. So I'm going to unmute you out. and let you back on. Uh, I ahead. agree with You're you, unmuted. Roxy. I agree with you, Roxy. We're all doing work, all of us, you, Al, myself, and it almost seems like every waking moment. I get it. And I agree with Rosalind. She's absolutely correct in that that's more uh, expeditious. It's faster. But wouldn't it be neat to couple the, the suit in the background as a, as a looming threat to these guys that we're all serious? But if, what if we could do all of these things, you know? Well, that's a good question, we, and Rosalind's been at this a lot longer than all of us have. What do you think about yeah, that? I'm coupling, sure. The coupling a lawsuit, Rosalind. What, how do, you, do you have any comments about that? I think a lot of people want Thank to Thank you. I think Thank that you, there's Rocky. a lot of fronts that everyone can work on, and everyone has to choose those fronts. And, you know, and I'm not opposing anyone else joining. I'm not opposing, uh, you know, whatever people want to do to make a difference on any issue they feel important. I'm going to encourage them to step up and do it because as more and more people become educated, we're going to make a difference. We're eventually going to get there. Uh, one step at a Heck time, yeah. but we're going to make it. I agree. Hey, Roslyn and Roxy. Are, I'm, yes. Sorry. Go ahead. Roslyn and Roxy, are you are you both going to be at Kim Shell's Beyond Consciousness in L.A. by chance? Because we have a no. booth there. And it'd be really no. cool to you know stand. I, 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 and, I, and I wish you the best of luck with that. Um, I'm not. Yeah, uh, it'll be a struggle. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be there. As a matter of fact, I have several places that that I've been asked to speak at across the country. I don't want to get into that right now. This isn't about me, um, but no um, that I can't even make it to. So um, there's quite a few things that we're on. We're we're expanding. We're doing TV shows now. So you know, my whole thing is media, media, media. Get the message out. And as you know, I cover over a hundred and something topics other than chemtrails, so which is all absolutely oh, yeah. related. So. Um, I don't know, Roslyn. You're not going to. Are you going to be there? No, well, I. Guys, thank uh, you. Thank I you for your time. We don't want to. 
Take I up have your some pressing family matters, and I won't Thanks. be able to attend. Great. Thank okay. you. Uh, thank you. Thank you for calling. We really appreciate it. We have another caller on the line, and uh, let's see, for, Sid from Kentucky. Welcome to the show, Sid. Do you have a question? I do, Roxy, and uh, hi to your guest. Uh, I, here's my question. Um, this show is called Truth Denied, so I'd like to keep it on that level if I could. We have, uh, you were just talking with the last caller about court cases, but we have uh, a judiciary uh, both uh, on the local level and on the national level that uh, uh, is uh, working under a color of law. Uh, they don't even care about uh, what the law says anymore. They make up their own rules. We have a we have a Senate and a, and a House, uh, both locally and nationally. That is in it for the money. You mentioned Barbara Boxer and Bernie Sanders. Oh my God, are those the people we we need to depend on? Really? Um, because if it's not about enriching themselves, we really take a secondary position in their lives. Um, guys, if if it's if we don't start to understand where we really stand, um, everybody was right in that conversation, and everybody was wrong in that conversation all at the same time, and it really, really was kind of a bummer. Look, these animals that you're talking about today, they've been under attack since uh, uh, since the Gulf crisis and even before. But surely, since the Gulf crisis, under under a major assault, and that's where this discussion should have stayed, not on the air, which is so important. And what's coming out of the air is is critically uh, uh, messed up. Okay. But the C uh, is. Sid, could you do us a favor? Hold on the line. Um, we're going into a break, and when we come back, we'll address this. And I do appreciate your concern. We'll mute you and bring you back on the other side of the uh, commercials if you uh, would like to stay. So we'll do that. This is the Truth Tonight Talk Radio. It's getting heated, and it's okay. We want people to say what they're thinking, and um, we do the best we can. We'll be right back after the break. Stay tuned. <laughs> 